Good afternoon, everyone. Today, let's briefly look at AI techniques of Tesla's self-driving cars. Self-driving cars need to know about all the objects around them. What type of object is it? How far is it? There are a few techniques for doing this. LiDAR uses low wavelength lasers that bounce off objects nearby to provide distance from them. Radar is similar to LiDAR, but instead of lasers, it uses radio waves to note the distance. Then we have computer vision. It uses inputs from cameras to gather data and do object detection via neural networks. Most self-driving car manufacturers like Alphabet's Waymo and Uber are using a combination of all of these. But Tesla is only relying on computer vision. So why is Tesla choosing vision-only approach? Well, sensors for LiDAR and radar are expensive. Specialized sensor hardware adds extra weight to electric car, which reduces its range. Camera hardware setup needed for computer vision only approach is cheaper and simpler. Humans have been driving relying on visual input only. So Tesla believes that a system can be created which can do the same. Let's try to understand some of the techniques Tesla is using. Tesla cars have eight cameras that cover 360 degrees of view. Each camera has different calibration a different angle, a different height, different field of view. These calibration parameters of each camera are used to adjust the video feed, then it's sent to the neural network. This ensures that the input data of neural network is uniform. Neural network stitches video together to create 3D vector space map of surroundings in real time. For example, in this image, there is a large trailer which appears in video feed of five cameras, but neural networks need to detect this as a single object. Tesla uses a processing architecture called HydraNet. It has a common backbone and multiple heads like Hydra. Each head is an independent model. For example, there is a model that de detects traffic lights, another for pedestrian detection, etc. The advantage of this model is that the backbone uh, system processes the video feed from the eight cameras and then that data of the 3d vector space can get reused by each individual neural network they have around 40 neural networks that do the processing on the 3d vector space each tesla car has two independent processing chips on board so that car can continue to drive even if one processing unit stops working when any Tesla car faces any unusual usual situation, its fully self-driving system does not, and its fully self-driving system does not function well. The data from its cameras is used to create additional training scenarios for the model. There are, there are various other techniques that Tesla is using, but that's for another time. That's all for today. Thanks for your time.